Right, okay, it's quarter to 12. We're gonna make an overnight pizza dough. This is a really simple dough to make. Basically, all you need is this double zero flour. You need 350 grams of it. So I'm just gonna set my scale on here. And this is the only number you need to remember is 350. So we'll just pop this on. Okay, so there's 350 grams. The next thing that you need to remember is just one cup of, of kind of like lukewarm water. So this is what this is. So one cup goes in and then yeast. I actually love the smell of yeast. It's yeasty. So we're going to add in the tiniest, tiny little fraction of yeast. We're probably talking about like an eighth of a teaspoon. So like just dust that much. And it seems like it's, it's nothing, but because it's sitting overnight, all the kind of magical yeasty stuff happens while, while you're sleeping basically. So we're going to do that and then just add in our flour. There we go. And that's it. That's, that's how you make overnight pizza dough. And you just give this a little stir. Just kind of like incorporate everything around. And you don't need to use your fingers here at all. Actually just kind of just get it nice and shaggy like this but that's it that's that's all you need to do you just kind of just give it a little knead so that's how that looks it's just basically kind of like a, a shaggy kind of dough and we'll just leave it in a nice little ball we'll do the rest of it it's good fine work on its own so that's it just cover this up leave it to go so it's next day and we're going to take a look at this so check out the difference in that look look at the way it's changed Okay, so we're gonna use 18 grams of sea salt. I'm just gonna heat up a little bit of water here until it's nice and warm. So what we're gonna do now is add in our water in over the top of this. And then we're gonna add in 18 grams of salt. It seems like a lot of salt, but you need a lot of salt just to kind of activate this. So 18 grams of sea salt in over the top. 325 grams of flour back in over the top and we'll just mix all this in now. So this is the messy bit. I'm gonna to have to stop my camera. Right, so this is the messy bit, so we're just gonna kinda of just mix all this in now. And just making sure that we're pinching in yesterday's dough with the, the fresh dough that we're gonna be making. So it smells absolutely gorgeous. So basically the idea here is just to mix this around, incorporate everything, and then we'll leave it for another 20 minutes. Right, so this is how the pizza dough looks now. So it smells absolutely fantastic at the moment. Ah, something just makes you happy whenever you're cooking fresh pizza. So this is our dough now. So we're just gonna leave this for another 20 minutes. So my uh, good wife has told me that I need to start wearing an apron. So they, for my birthday, bought me this, this uni uh, apron. So I'm actually like, feels like you're sponsored by uni, but I'm not sponsored by uni. Right, so what we wanna do, this has had a good 20, maybe 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes actually sitting on its own. So, cup of tea. Stay hydrated, right? Okay, so we're gonna come out with some flour over the top. So this is the part that like, Lindsay actually hates that I do, is that any kind of place that flour can get around the kitchen, this is it, this is it happening now. So we're just <laughs> gonna lightly dust the surface and we don't want to have too much flour on, on the surface just because too much flour too much flour will take the hydration out of your, your dough. So that's our dough all out in one nice big lump. And what we're going to do now is just drop it down and give it a little knead. And there's no real sense. The kneading is just basically working the dough and then what you're doing is you're getting all the gluten, all the kind of activated inside itself. So the more you move it around and if it feels a wee bit sticky, you can add a bit more flour to it, but you shouldn't need to. And we're just gonna need this for maybe like, I don't know, maybe five minutes. So already it's, it's kind of nice and silky, kind of like just roll it up into a nice little ball and then leave it, but I'm gonna just give it another bit of kneading. Right, so this this is now kind of like looking ready. I've been kneading this for maybe about five minutes or so, and you can see it's just like super soft and just like really smooth. It's lovely, see? 
and it's just, I absolutely love the smell of dough whenever it's cooking, it's class. So we're gonna set this in here and leave it now for two hours. So just a little dust on top. So we're gonna leave this now for two hours and when we come back, it'll, it'll be ready for the pizza oven. This is now doubled in size and we're just gonna carefully lift it out of out of here and onto a floured surface. Okay. I just want to cut this into fours, so I'm just going to eyeball this. Okay, so there's one. Right, so we're just going to make these into little uh, dough balls now. So we're just going to fold them in like this, so we're just kind of tucking them in on themselves. So these are going to be enough for to have just basically four pizzas inside the, the uni, so it should be about the right size. So I'm just going to tuck these in. And when you do this, it kind of makes it a wee bit easier whenever you go to roll them out into a, an actual pizza shape for later. So this is our dough and it's, it's now ready. So we're just gonna pull it out and give it a little dust of flour on top. And what I like to do with the dough is basically just knead it with your fingers just to push it out into a, a bit of a circle. So you, you wanna keep your crusts nice and thick like this on the edges. And we're just doing this in a circle. And I find that actually just getting this in the circle to begin with is half a battle. So once you've got it in the circle, you're basically just using your knuckles then to stretch it and let gravity do all the rest. Okay, so my daughter is hungry and I like to call her hangry whenever she gets into this stage where she just gives me dirty looks because she knows it's dinner time and she needs to be eating. So, so the pizza oven has been on the go and it's nice and warm now. So we're just gonna throw on our tomato sauce, what we made earlier. So I put all this tomato sauce inside this little tin and you can see it here, so it's lovely. It's absolutely gorgeous, actually. So we'll just put this on and push it out to the edges. Like that. Okay. And then what would you like on it, Belle? Everything bar the pineapple. Okay. So Belle wants everything on this bar of the pineapple, so we will put on some basil first. And some meat then. So the kind of tip whenever it comes to making pizzas is less is more. So don't be adding like tons thinking that you need to have like every single layer covered. So we're gonna see how hot this is now. Let's see if it's ready. 418 degrees, almost there. Okay, so this is our pizza ready to go in. So just flared up our peel and we're gonna drop it on now. So the oven's ready now and we're gonna drop in okay Right, so this is done, and can't wait to try it. Let's get a look. Looks fab. So quick taste test, see how this goes to so the crust. Sounds great. Mm, crust is perfect. I'll try the rest of it. Mm, perfect.